camera and I thought so, I could just sneak uh, a little so shot. So you said, oh yeah, sneak yeah. a little shot. Yeah, sure. I did. And I could, okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And uh, I guess we're here, You're right? You're not believable. Yeah, right, so, right, I'm not. You are, though. Anyway, is there any other question that I can answer for anybody? I'm, I'm totally open to anything. I mean, we've got a lot of information about the Cox family and about Susan, a lot of it from her journals, a lot of it from Josh's, you know, he lived with Susan for eight years before she left. He knows a lot that is not in the journals, but the journals confirm what he knows that Susan told him about her family, about her growing up years. Yeah. What is your name again? again? Erica. Yeah. Okay, Erica. That is a, a really, I, I give you an answer, but that's a really, a little bit convoluted and long. And, I, and I may, I've told Josh, maybe we should just explain that on our website. There was a reason Josh quit talking with to the F, I mean, to the uh, West Valley, to the West Valley City Police, and the reason had to do with what's that? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's fine. He basically, um, Josh had a, an extensive interview with them the day or so after Susan disappeared, uh, Erica, and uh, the way they handled the interview, and they know they handled it wrong. They know they screwed up. There, if you go back to December 2009, they themselves admit there's a controversy over the reasons Josh quit contacting them and got himself an attorney. There's a controversy within, an internal controversy in the West Valley City Police. It's because, that was because they screwed up. And, and you know, I, as I told Josh, we should probably explain that on our website. We're not we, I, I doubt that Josh will ever talk to the West Valley City Police area again, but he'll talk to the FBI. They just have to call. They know our number. They know my email. I contacted them three or four months ago about some possible lead that I had. But they don't, you know, they, they'll contact me if they want to. They don't tell us anything about the investigation. The only thing they've told us is they believe she's alive. They've told us that. And Josh had nothing to do with her disappearance. That's what they've told us. They told us a couple of other things, but nothing about specifics about the investigation. That was four months after we, or three months after we told them about the Stephen Kosher possibility. We think that, that their investigation into that probably had something to do with their conclusion that she's alive. They must have found something. I told Josh at the time, I said, they didn't, they know she's alive. They wouldn't say they believe she's alive. They know she's alive. That's what I said, you know. And, uh, and in fact, 